Hi everyone, welcome to 5-Minute Cosmetic Surgery. I'm Dr. Go. I'm a Korean plastic surgeon. I'm so glad to meet you in my video channel. From today, I introduce other materials except silicone and Gore-Tex implant. But before introducing those materials, let's compare and summarize silicone and Gore-Tex implant. Because those two kinds of materials are the most important and popular in rhinoplasty. Silicone is the most popular implant. Gore-Tex is the second popular implant in rhinoplasty. Silicone implants have various sizes and shapes. We can choose a suitable one and insert it into your nose. Some Gore-Tex implants are block shaped, so we need to curb it with spending time. Some Gore-Tex implants are curved, but the size and shape is not various. So, in some cases, they are not acceptable, or in some cases, we need to curve them to adjust to your nose. The shape of silicone implant is natural, but some silicone implants don't have natural shape. I've found this unnatural shape of implants in China and Vietnam. The shape of Gore-Tex implant can be also natural if it's curved by a good skilled doctor. Silicone implants make a thin membrane around it, so it is easy to remove. But its outline may be seen over the nose in people with thin skin. Gore-Tex implants let the surrounding tissues grow into its surface, so it is firmly fixed and its outline cannot be seen over the nose, but it is a little difficult to remove. The possibility of infection is same in both materials. Infection depends on how the doctor operates nose surgery under what circumstances. There are hard and soft Gore-Tex implant. Hard Gore-Tex implant have the same function as the silicone implant for raising the nose. Soft Gore-Tex implants are also useful when it is positioned only on the nasal dosum. So far, I have summarized good and bad points of silicone and Gore-Tex implants. From now on, I'd like to introduce other materials. There is another material to raise the nasal dosum, artificial dermis. Our skin has two layers, epidermis in outside and dermis in inside. Epidermis is thin barrier to protect from environment outside and regulate water release from the body. Dermis is a thick layer below the epidermis, which forms the skin, containing broad capillaries, nerve endings, sweat glands, hair follicles, and other structures. Let's forget the definition of epidermis and dermis. All you need to know is, we can insert the dermis into the nasal dosum to raise the nose. Some biomaterial companies get a large amount of dummies from other animals like pigs. And then they make a medical products with animals' dummies. This is artificial dummies. We can use it like implants. It is a soft and silicone implant and can be well fixed to the surrounding tissues. The outline and the skin of the nasal dosum look very natural after inserting artificial dummies into the nose. So, it's very good for the condition that the skin of nasal dosum is very thin because of previous nose surgery. But, it's not easy to curb the artificial dummies. And it's very expensive. Okay, today we compared silicone and Gore-Tex implants. We also knew another material, the artificial dummies. Next time, we will talk about fillers and something using with the fillers. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.